was that, man? Hey, do it, I'm Callan, and this is Slapped Ham. Today we're looking at some scary videos that can't quite be explained. So hit that subscribe button and get ready for more mysterious content, just like this. I'm good on that. Yeah. This creepy clip was uploaded to our Slapped Ham Facebook community page by user Bobby Bars. The footage begins with the uploader explaining that he's just started hearing some unusual noises coming from somewhere inside his home. I don't know what the hell it is. It's like knocking, creaking, footsteps. It's either in my room or Sky's room, but Sky's passed out right now. The noises are faint, but if you listen closely, you can hear a knocking or scraping sound echoing through the room. Clearly disturbed, he begins searching the house for the source. I think it's coming from my room now. As he enters one of the rooms, we can hear what sounds like a woman crying. Then, the uploader cautiously approaches a cabinet. He explains that he keeps it barricaded shut by what looks like a large telescope. See, I keep this up against the cabinet. He says he does so to stop the dolls that are kept inside from opening the cabinet's doors. Because the dolls like to try to open the doors and shit. It's weird. I don't know what that sound is though. As he shows us the collection, he's suddenly spooked by something. Oh, what the f was that, man? Yo. So what's going on in this house? Several viewers have noted that they think the dolls give off some creepy vibes. Could it be possible they're haunted or possessed in some way? For now, this will have to remain a mystery, but we'll keep you posted as soon as more information comes to hand. Bro. When popular YouTuber Cal Freezy and his friends set out to explore Charlton House in southeast London, they seem initially skeptical. We are adventurous. Josh Stratford. <laughs> Oh, they, they're in chance to you right now, actually. It's okay, I got a little summit though. It was like a little, like, uh, give me your manumeral. <laughs> give me your manumeral. Believed by many to be haunted, Charlton House was built in 1607. Originally a royal residence, it was used as a hospital for wounded soldiers during World War I. However, the most disturbing aspect of the building is that during a restoration project, a mummified baby was found in an old fireplace. Visitors and staff have described experiencing paranormal activity, such as belongings going missing and feeling an oppressive atmosphere in the cellar and attic. Some even claim to have seen the ghost of a grey lady walking around the grounds carrying a bundle of cloth that resembles a swaddled infant. As the explorers begin their investigation, they assume that the stories are mostly nonsense. Right, lads. Oh, wow. Okay, well now, now I am scared. That's all right, we've got safety beer. He'll save us. However, it isn't long before they begin to hear a mysterious banging sound coming from somewhere above them. You know what's good, that is, right? Yes. What's the name? Did any, no one just heard that on the f roof. Which I gotta heard a bad noise up there. There's a lot of dampness on that roof, by the way. You should probably look at that, get that fixed. They ask their spirit box if there are any entities in the room, but after it makes an unintelligible noise, they decide to continue their exploration. Are there any spirits in this room? I can hit, I 
Soon, they're confronted by more possible paranormal activity. Take a look. You're not under arrest. You're not under arrest. I just want to talk to you. Oh, God. Yo. I swear that's not I swear that's not As you can see, a door swings open, seemingly all on its own. Oh, God. Yo. I swear that's not I swear that's not I swear that is oh, right now. I don't want to open it. Bravely, they enter the room, noting that it feels cold inside. Oh, I've got chills. You just got chills. Mm. I feel like it's cold. This yeah, cold yeah, room. Yeah, it's cold. Yeah. Again, they ask if there are any spirits present. However, this time, as they do, their music box, which has a built-in motion detector, mysteriously begins to play. Are there any spirits? Oh no! My oh God. God. no! No! no. Way. no. While well, it seems that these YouTubers began their investigation with a somewhat tongue-in-cheek attitude, by the end of the video, they certainly appear to have changed their tune. You literally asked the question and it went off. Are there any spirits in this room? <laughs> that. That. No. that. No. I'm out. I'm that. Too late. That. Yeah. That. Does this footage prove the rumours that Charlton House really is haunted? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Are there any spirits in this basement? Can you make yourself known? I'm friendly. Fought in 1863, the Battle of Gettysburg involved the largest number of casualties of the entire American Civil War. Today, many people who visit the area report paranormal experiences. This mysterious photo, shared to Reddit by GGBNYC, might prove that spirits really do roam this infamous battleground. The Redditor claims that they visited the area not to hunt for ghosts, but rather to pay their respects to the fallen soldiers. However, while visiting the cemetery, they had what they describe as a very intense experience. The OP took this photo after they saw something moving behind a tree. Looking closely, you can make out some sort of strange figure to the right of the tree. They also believe that they heard the sound of marching. Several viewers noted that they too had heard mysterious marching sounds along with cannons firing and even disembodied war cries. The poster showed the photo to a park ranger who thought the creepy figure resembled a Confederate soldier on horseback. Another theory is that it might actually be a local cryptid known as Old Green Eyes. The story goes that because there was so much blood spilled on the battlefield, a mysterious creature has been drawn to the area. It's described as being human-like with a large deformed jaw and long fangs. However, its most notable feature is its glowing green eyes. Since the war, several visitors to the area claim to have seen this beast. The most notable encounter involved a park ranger named Edward Tinney. During an interview in 1981, he described seeing a creature with glaring greenish-orange eyes that flashed like some sort of wild animal. Its teeth were long and pointed like fangs and it had long hair like that of a woman. While the figure in this photo doesn't show the hallmark green eyes of this little-known cryptid, certainly does appear to be human-like and might even have long dark hair. So what do you think's been captured in this image? A battlefield ghost, mysterious creature, or something else entirely? Let me know where you land on this in the comments down below. When a security alarm is triggered, it can be a scary event. However, this video, shared to Reddit by Bamaraki19, might show something that makes the whole situation even creepier. Take a look. According to the uploader, this footage comes from the bar's security camera that's next door to them. The manager had just finished closing up, so he headed to the office to lock up and set the alarm. Not long after the alarm was triggered, a police officer soon arrived but found nothing of concern in the building. Puzzled, the manager reviewed the security camera footage to see what had set the alarm off. 
In the footage, you can see a ghostly shape moving across the room directly in front of the bar. It appears to resemble a person, yet it's pale and transparent. It moves slowly across the room for several seconds before the footage cuts out. After watching the clip, some viewers suggested it could have been a light from a passing car shining through the window. However, light alone wouldn't be enough to trigger the motion sensor on the alarm. So could there really be a ghost in this bar? Watch the footage again and judge for yourself. Have you ever had a sense that you're being watched? When Redditor Hello Gallo had that feeling, they ended up with a terrifying photo to prove it. While heading to work early one morning, the Redditor claims that they saw someone or something watching them from the window of their apartment building. They thought they could see the figure's hair blowing in the wind, but still uncertain, they decided to see if it was perhaps just a decoration or piece of furniture. However, before they did, they quickly snapped this photo. The Redditor then claims that when they went up the stairs to see where the figure should have been, it was completely gone. It seems that the encounter spooked the Redditor so much that they began to feel sick and cold. They then immediately left for work. While it's possible that the mysterious figure was just a person who had simply walked away as the Redditor was climbing the stairs, that doesn't explain their apparent Grim Reaper-like appearance in the photo. What do you think this could have been? There's no denying that its appearance was certainly creepy, yet we'll never know if it had sinister intentions. For now, it seems this one will have to remain a mystery. According to Redditor Endless River, her father-in-law, a property manager, snapped this photo in an abandoned office building that he was responsible for. Take a look at the image and see if you can spot anything unusual. Unless you have eagle eyes, it might not be until we zoom in that you see what's so creepy about it. There's a weird looking face at the end of the hallway just below the green exit sign. Some viewers have pointed out that the right side of the face looks particularly odd as if it suffered some sort of traumatic injury. Since the photo was uploaded, it's received a lot of attention. While some Redditors seem certain that it's a ghost, others are less convinced. They think it could be the reflection of a poster that may have been on the opposite wall. They suggest that the uploader's father-in-law returns to the building to investigate further. Unfortunately, unless an update is posted, the real source of this creepy face will remain anyone's guess, at least for the time being. Before we take a look at a bizarre clip that seems to show a man's magic ability to control water, remember to hit that subscribe button, click that little bell icon there and turn on all channel notifications. That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our scary and creepy videos. This next video was posted to TikTok by Esoteric Mook Zero. Like many of the mysterious videos found on the platform, it has no accompanying information. Take a look at what's been captured. Wow. Genial. The video purports to show a man with the ability to control the flow of water. He holds a large staff, bringing to mind classic images of the biblical depiction of Moses who parted the Red Sea. At first, it seems that he might simply be matching his gestures to the natural flow of the tide, giving the illusion that he can control the water. However, as the clip continues, it begins to move in a way that seems unnatural. As he waves his hands, the water begins to flow towards his feet. Wow. 
He then gestures in the opposite direction as if pushing the water away, revealing the rocks below. There, it seems to hold its position until he releases it with his hand. So does this man really possess the ability to control the ebb and flow of the tide? Or is he aware of some unusual natural phenomenon and is simply matching his movements accordingly? Watch the video one more time and let me know what your theories are on this strange piece of footage. Genial. Now, if you want to see some more scary videos and check out that link on the top there. Otherwise, there's a massive paranormal playlist right there that'll keep you entertained for hours and hours. Now, remember to check out our merch. We've got an awesome range of hoodies and tees. There's the merch shelf just below the player there. And there's a link in the description box below as well. And that's it for me. I'll see you all next time. 